Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is currently Monday, January 9th, 2012, and this is Day 9 Daily number 390 whatever. Where it's Funday Monday, yes! I was going to begin this segment by telling you a story about bicycles. Because when I was young, I used to love biking. Let me actually just load up the next to last Funday Monday, uh, labeled as the most bejujular Funday Monday, which is such a great word. Ah, yes, cool. Excellent. Ha. Huh. So, ah, uh, I biked so much that that was like the thing that I did. Uh, to the point where I would go up to people um, who I wanted to be friends with, and I would just ask them, do you want to go bike? Do you, do you like biking? Do you bike? Do you want to bike? Do you bicycle? Um, the weird thing was that I actually didn't know like what a friend meant when I was in like sixth grade. I didn't. Act, I was just like, yeah, well, I just want to be friends. I guess that means we go biking together. So there you go. That was the extent of my personality back then. Other than, of course, having the coolest garb ever, like the extra large shirts tucked into sweatpants, tucked into snow boots. Totally not exaggerating. I looked amazing. So there was this one day where there was this kid named Paul who had just moved here and he was new and I just thought maybe I want to be friends with him. So I asked him if he wanted to go biking and he said yes and I was all excited. And there's this one hill down 103rd Street um, that it, you don't know where 103rd Street is. You can just look it up in Kansas City if you want. 103rd Street, down to State Line Road, is the sickest steep slope ever. And he lived down there to the left. So he was like, let's go to my house. We both biked there from school. And I went to the top of this hill down 103rd, and it was so steep that I'd never gone down it. I was too scared to. I liked biking up hills instead of down because it was just it was not scary to go up a hill. So we start like going down and I'm not even pedaling, but I'm like going so fast and like the sidewalks are really uneven. It's like bumpy and stuff. And my bike's squeaking like this. And like the cars that are going down at like 35 miles an hour are not actually going that much faster than us because it's so freaking steep. So I see that there's his, his street is up there and he goes down and he turns left, but he has to really slow down and then turn. But I noticed that there's this driveway that sort of slopes down like that onto the street. So I just pull my bike off onto the grass. It's shaking and stuff because I'm just going to go down the grass, slope onto the driveway, and then turn left. And then I won't have to slow down. Well, I realize about um, one foot before I hit the grass hill that slopes down to the driveway that it's not actually a grass hill. It's just a wall. So I hit the front of the wall and it flips me over and I just land on my head. My helmet actually splits in half and the bike pulls over my head and grabs my leg and just drags my sad little sixth grade body across the pavement. So I'm just like, ah! So it like totally ripped up like my right shoulder and like all this side, like my, my forehead and like everything looked horrible. Like my leg was all scratched up. So, um... So Paul comes back because I'm screaming at the top of my lungs and rushes me over to his house. And the best part is that his parents had never met me before. Paul was just like, hey, mom, dad, I'm going to go uh, hang out with Sean and we're going to bike to my house and we'll meet you there. And they're like, okay, great. And then they just open the door and I'm like, ah! <laughs> covered in blood. And they had to drive me home. It's funny now. It's one of those level two funny things. And this should be a lesson to you. This is why you always wear your helmet, because you never know when you're going to bike off a cliff. Fantastic. Uh, so th these are the things that help make me 30% bicycle. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at the final Monday Monday viewing. We have Night Goat on the right. We have Naive Skull on the bottom. We have Claudius on the left. We have Terravolt on the top. There we go. Excellent. It looks like we have Lings. Oh, Reapers. Uh, queens and Queen. Oh, shit. They're all four doing Fun Day Monday. Ong! Ong! Looks like everyone doing the nice lull, etc. Hi, Day J. Hi, Terrible. Oh, my God. And look, everyone. <laughs> How many bomb you have, Claudius? Thank God we're not in an airport like White Ra was when he asked me that question. Unbelievable, so great. So there's the GLHF. And it looks like we're going to have ourselves an epic fun day Monday where we have Reaper. We have the two queening players on the left, and we have a guy who is only capable of building Zerglings on the right side. Fantastical. This is hilarious. This is so awesome. 
Wonder if the FFA traffic will spike. No, lol. I would like that. Everyone at Blizzard is just seeing this tremendous increase. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Someone who doesn't, who works at Blizzard who doesn't know is just seeing this huge blip. There's that one guy who's like, we need to make FFA on the ladder. We need to have a ladder FFA. He's been like chugging away at that one, trying to chip it into the esports department. And now he looks at the spike in FFAs thanks to Fun Day Monday. Perfect. Claudius, I'm so flustered I can't play. Well, don't worry. That's not the point of Fun Day Monday, man. That is not the point. Yeehaw. So, Naive Skull is going to go ahead and just build Reapers. Seems great. Uh, now, let me just remind you, Night Goat. Adrenal Glands. Go for that. Come on. Come on. Yep. Terrible. Understanding the core concept. Excellent. So, let's go ahead and date on your drawing skills are second to none. That is true. For any of you who don't know Bomber's playstyle, please refer to the MS Paint drawing that I created. You can find it at slash r slash day9. Excellent. This is super fantastic. Etc. 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 Anyways, let's go ahead and start ready to do some commentary. It looks like Reaper is popping up into the main. People misspelling, but Jujular, no big deal as long as he ends up kiting all of those. Ooh, nice transfuse on the queen. We better be transfusing some of them drones. Now, if you have a queening player next to you, there's this odd thing that occurs where the two creeps join, and that's when the aggression doth begin. But Night Goat, looks like he's getting the upgrades. He has his layer up for Ventral Sacks. I'm loving it. And Naive Skull, I guess since he's going Reaper, is, is not the ideal target. Ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh. With the power of Micro, he escapes with one. Nice. In the meantime, it looks like, oh, Nitro Pack's going down. Speed wasn't done yet. Naive Skull. Poor guy. Poor thing. Now let's talk about game plans. My, my goal... Wait, hold on. Where's the rally point? Oh, that's a heart. <laughs> if we deselect that one, it doesn't quite look like a heart now, does it? Lol, it looks like a really happy face. But I think this will be fine. I guess this is a fine shape. I guess it's a nice aggro shield. I do think we've got to see some more planetary fortresses from Mr. Skull coming down. And of course, ladies and gents, it's time. It is time. For you to try to put some bets. Who do you think is actually going to win in chat? Please type blue, teal, purple, or red. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Now, there's an interesting thing that Naive Skull's doing, which is to make an enemy of everybody. Well, if I couldn't kill Zerg, I may as well piss this Zerg off. Let's go ahead and do that. My Reaper Micro is beast. <laughs> Quotation marks needed. No big deal. Just keep making Reapers. That's the best part of a 1, 2, 3, for all. You are restricted. And of course, everyone's picking on Claudius. <laughs> Look at Zerg. Well, if that guy's making Reapers, I can't attack him. Oh, we got a Transfuse off on a Queen. Awesome. I always wanted to know how that logic worked. I spawn here. This guy just killed off my stuff. Damn it, it's Blue's fault. Hit Blue. And Night Goat, of course, just wanting some other people to leave. Planetary Fortress set up at the front. Naive Skull looks like he's planning. Ooh, it looks like he's already getting his second unit in there. Solution to everything. Make more queens. Oh, no. Oh, no. The creep has joined. It's Claudius versus Terravolt. And it looks like the Zerglings could be a potential threat. It's, my God, only 14 queens versus the 21 of Claudius. Who actually is not even building that many drones, man. Queens are pretty inexpensive, I will admit. Anyways, looks like the heart's made out of queens. Oh, no. And here it is. Oh, no. And there's a transfuse. There's another transfuse. The queen concave is incredible. Another one of these. It's amazing. I'll be right back. Get some more water.
good. Really good book. Isn't it like chapter 14? Right now, I'm pretty excited. Dresden is investigating a murder that just happened at a convention. Pretty cool. Oh, and purple one! How is that unbelievable micro? Uh, incredible. At some point, this expansion died, and I'm sure it was far more interesting. No, how did this happen? How did he lose so much? I don't. He he came in there with the queen lead. Oh oh no upgrades. Oh king of the queens. I like that one. Terravolt. Look at Terravolt doing his little commentator thing. Yeah. Now Claudius is building some spine crawlers. He has looks like nine drones remaining. There they are. In the meantime, we see Zerglings. Uh oh oh. Oh, it looks like Naive Skull getting ready to Raven, but not quite Ravening yet. Oh. You could have caused utter damage. Super mega giga damage. Freaking out the purple queens. And Claudius is happy because it looks like he just caught a break. He's going to go back. He's going to mine with his nine drones. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The direct. Ooh. Ugh. Looks like Reaper Planetary Fortress. Pretty good against Zerglings. We have 17 kills on these ones. I'm hoping for a 25 kill Reaper. That would be the awesomest. All right. Oh, oh, Night Goat with the harassment drop. Because if you can't kill someone, just try to piss off everybody. Night Goat is going to find the only defensive structure in the back. And he's going to drop nearby that one. Certainly he's dealing some hurt. Wounding. Oh, he's going to kill off the pool. Oh, no. He won't be able to build any more queens. But the problem with trying to target fire anything when there's queens there is you just transfuse it. <laughs> oh my gosh, but of course everyone getting in each other's jank. Uh-oh, trying to hide off in the corner. But it didn't work. So in the meantime, it looks like Naive Skull is doing pretty smart mass bunkerage. He's still making only Reaper, and people can really only build one unit still. Oh, it's going to be Mass Queen versus Mass Queen Spine Crawler. Uh-oh, ooh, with the transfuse, yes. Aha, says Claudius. He has an idea. It looks like his idea is to... No, I guess he's just celebrating. Ouch. Ouch. But Night Goat. Dropped here. It looked vulnerable. Went down there. Couldn't break through this planetary fortress line. So what is he going to do? He's going to go kill Blue. <laughs> what a jerk! Oh, poor Claudius. Oh, he was making his first push ever. And now has to do the retreat. Oh, what timing! What timing is this? Queen's gonna transfuse each other all day. Ugh. Oh, the incredible counterattack timing by our good friend Night Goat. Oh, he didn't transfuse quickly enough. Transfuse, transfuse! 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 Trans transfuse! Transfuse! Uh, he, I, all of them didn't happen. None of the transfuse happened. And it looks like Terravolt might be able to seize the opportunity. It looks like the spine crawler is trying to reburrow. Re looks like they are trying to reburrow. Wow. Terravolt does have his gold up. Well, it looks like his. <laughs> well, my SCVs are stupid. Well, Naive Skull, we're actually busy right now. And spine crawlers with no transfuse cannot beat queens with transfuse. So now, Claudius. Claudius starts to meta think. If the rules are to keep all your buildings alive, quickly run! Run! Oh, he's gotta get out of there. He's gonna try to creep off to this corner. Come on, follow me, queens, huh? Follow me. I will not be eliminated. I will not be eliminated. 
Uh oh. And there he is. All right, Claudius is being revealed. He's hiding in the corner. Oh. Now he does have 384. He can build a drone and then hatch, but then he can't do anything with it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, terrible. Ugh. Excellent. Perfect. Good. Geed. Looks like they both smacked in there at the same time. Now he's picking off all the creep tumors. What will his decision be? It looks like he's going to re-expand to his own main. Ha! Not revealed anymore. Good. Perfect. Let us see what is going on here. Looks like he's getting a bunch of reactors. Wants to go marines? Ooh. <laughs> Everything is different with a heart. Or with... Uh, uh, with Sarah Jessica Parker wearing sunglasses and crying tears of joy. Saved it! Woo! Oh, look how happy she is. Woo! Nailed it! Phew! That was close. Woo! Does have a lot of reactors up right now. And as we speed it along, I think watching Zerglings whack against each other is good enough. There's the GG, the GG. All right, come on, come on, here we go. Here we go, and... Oh, he leaves the game. Ultras, Ultras, Infester, Raven, Ultras. Oh, he had that ready. Oh my god, in production, 14 Ultralisks, two Ravens. Oh, Minerals, wait, why did you not go Marines? No, Knife Skull, you're so naive. Ultras, come on. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. No, he's going to be pulling back. And of course, if we cannot win in direct combat, just try to make everyone as angry as humanly possible. And there it goes. Running around, picking off the infestation pit. All is looking good. And Night Goat is always attacking whoever is not really messing with him at the time. And there he goes. Reapers, as it turns out, not very good against the Ultralisks. Not really doing so well. If only I could transfuse. Oh, wait. Says Terra Vault. You can transfuse. Ultra's trying to dodge Hunter Seeker missiles. It's not as effective. And finally, Night Go manages to find a way in. Now, of course, what does everyone say is the winner? Who's gonna win? Who can possibly win? Thank you, I learned from the best. I appreciate that, Terravolt. That's so sweet of you. Go for it. Ultra's continuing to barrel down the front door. Have we seen the Infestors pop into action yet? Looks like he doesn't even really have any gas. Gonna have to get some sick Neural Parasites up. Transfuse the Neural Parasited Ultras. It looks like everyone's saying red. There are a lot of queens in here, though. Now, it, let's see. It's six armor versus the queens that do... What is that? Seven minus? Are they really doing one damage at a time? Excellent. Can he transfuse enough? Can he kill off anything doing one damage at a time? <laughs> Transfusing. The Ultralisks amazingly are retreating. All right, let's see. Terrible, moving in, moving in. Oh no, oh, he's he's angered the Hunter Seeker Missile player who doesn't realize the Hunter Seeker Missiles do friendly fire damage. He killed an Ultralisk by doing damage one at a time. He's got to be careful not to transfuse the enemy Ultralisks. That's like defensive matrixing in Ultra and SC1, which everybody has done before. Team, fall back. Team, fall back. Oh. All right. Does he have those Infestors up yet? He is still making only Queens. All right, cool. Ultra's going into the main base. One damage at a time. But they do have two attacks, so that does make it two damage at a time. Nice. Meanwhile, the Ultra's trying to find anything. I'm trying to help you, Queen King. boy. How many people voted for the red? How many people voted for the purple? Marky, I don't know if you can get a tally, but any time would work. It's going to be really close. Oh! Needs to keep transfusing. The Broodlings are helping out a lot. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I actually think Red went by a long shot. Wow. But at least I held the tension there. It appears I'm dead. Well, at least there's auto turrets going down. 
Who will be the second to die? Hmm. It's trying to squish. But it looks like, sadly enough, Night Goat. Is Night Goat gonna get eliminated? Oh, is Nyko? Oh, no. Actually, Nyko can't be eliminated. It's not completely possible. No Marines. He's got to land. You think you might be winning, but it doesn't end up happening. And I think I'm pretty much done with commentary. Red wins, you guys. Red wins. I'm out of juice. It's time for Funday Monday to wrap up. So with that in mind, I'd like to announce that please vote for me in the Shorty Awards. Shortyawards.com slash category slash... Um, Gaming. Whew, that was close. Also, next week's Funday Monday topic, a delightful individual brought up the fact that initially, the Funday Monday topics were designed to create a challenge that you could learn more in the game to create a little structure, a framework for that. I am proposing the following. Here is the challenge I put forth to you. When you start a game, ask your opponent two units that you are not allowed to build for the whole game, and the only restriction is that they can't start with the same letter. Yeah, I was really proud of that one because you have like Marines, Marauders, Medivacs, Banshee, Battlecruiser, Sentry, Stalker. He gets to choose two units that you can't build and they can't start with the same letter. Boom. That's it. Submit to Monday at Day9.tv. You ask your opponent what two units you may not build. And then on the spot, you have to figure it out. The only restriction is that they can't start with the same letter. So if the game starts and he's like, no Marines, no tanks, you can't build Marine tanks. You're going to have to build Marauder, Medivac, Hellion, Thor, those sort of things. Mm. And of course, workers don't count. Workers don't count. You can make workers. Workers are exempt. Workers are exempt. And if he says Queen, just don't go Mass Queen. Ask for another unit. I'm just going to go. I'm done. Bye, guys. See you later. Peace.